This is update three on winter storm Iris. It is dumping snow in the Northern Plains right now. The details on Iris. Winter storm Iris is expected to deliver some snow and ice into the interior Northeast and Midwest to begin the week. Snow will also continue to cover the Northern Rockies as well. Here are the current watches, warnings, and advisories. As you can see, winter weather advisories, advisories spreading, well, advisories and warnings spreading from Minnesota all the way to New York. Some of the large cities that are under something include Green Bay, Wisconsin, Market, Michigan, Detroit, Michigan, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Cleveland, Ohio, Erie, Pennsylvania, Buffalo, New York, in Syracuse, New York. This does not include uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Columbus, Ohio, and Washington, D.C. It also doesn't include New York City. Here's the current radar. As you can see, Iris is definitely spread across the, most of the United States. It's covering the whole West and parts of the Northern Plains and upper Midwest. It also is uh, dumping quite a lot of snow as it approaches Chicago. It's probably in Chicago right now. And still lots of rain over in California, lots of snow in the Sierra, Rockies. So if you're out on the roads in these areas where you see precipitation, please be careful on the roads. Try to drive as slowly as possible. Well, not too slowly, but don't drive fast if there's like a wall of snow in front of you. Or around you. For Monday night, or January the 9th of 2017, snow quiets down in the north central Rockies because of the storm moving away. Freezing rain is a potential in valleys where cold air cannot escape in western Colorado. Areas from the northern plains to the Great Lakes and upper Midwest should see snow move through. Some ice and snow is a potential on the southern part of this plains Midwest precipitation location. This includes southern Minnesota, South Dakota, northern Iowa, southern Wisconsin, and northern Illinois. This is what it looks like for tonight. As you can see, snow definitely across most of the Great Lakes states, upper Midwest and Northern Plains. An icy mix to the south of there, which does not look good. And then rain, of course, to the south of there, which includes Chicago. So many places will see snow first, and then it will change over to rain, which is not going to be good, and it would probably be a, a slushy mess. For Tuesday, January the 10th of 2017, the storm system finishes up in the Great Lakes with wind and snow. This should occur in the northern Great Lakes and upper Midwest, which would include northern Michigan, northern Wisconsin, and Minnesota. A wintry mix of ice, sleet, or snow will move into the interior northeast and eastern Great Lakes region. Many locations should start out as snow before changing over to a wintry mix, as I said. This is what it looks like for tomorrow. As you can see, snow over the northeast and the northern plains. Also a wintry mix to the south of there, so be careful if you're in pinks and purples. And also the rain to the south of there, which could be a bit of a wet, and soggy mess. So just like Winter Storm Gregory did, be careful of fog in between rain. So, be careful on the roads as you are in Iris. The snowfall forecast, less than 6 inches is possible in eastern Montana, the Dakotas, northern Wisconsin, northern Michigan, Minnesota, northern New England, upstate New York, and northwestern Pennsylvania. Light ice accumulations is possible in the interior parts of the northeast. This is what it looks like for the snowfall forecast. As you can see, the heaviest amounts in parts of New York, this would probably be over a foot of snow. And also some pretty heavy amounts of snow 
in parts of Wisconsin and Michigan. Still up to a foot, possibly between 5 and 12 inches up there. And Minnesota could get a bit, but places like Chicago, they're not going to pick up anything. Pittsburgh's not going to get anything. Uh, places in northern Ohio, um, Indiana, northern Michigan, or sorry, northern Illinois, northern Indiana, northern Pennsylvania, they're not going to pick up very much snow. So there will be more winter storms with lots of snow, but I guess this is not it. Here are the winter storm names for 2016 and 17. As you can see, the ones that have been used include Argus, Blanche, Cali, Decima, Europa, Fortis, Gregory, Helena, and Iris. The next winter storm name is Jupiter. And it's of course a surprise of where it will form, where it will go, where what it will do. And also, we need to watch for Jupiter because there could be another storm system coming in on the west coast, just like Helena and iris so we might have another cross-country storm in the form of jupiter after jupiter there will be cory after that and then the rest of the winter storm names are leo maya nico orson pluto quid reggie stella theseus ursa valerie Wyatt, xavier yuri and zena if your name's a winter storm name you should comment down below Maybe, if you want to. If you need more details, you should visit the Weather Channel at the link below. There might be another update on Winter Storm Iris sometime tomorrow, which is Tuesday, January the 10th of 2017. Thank you for watching this video.